All right, here we go on a Sunday, uh, Chopper Crew. We appreciate you rolling with us, staying with us, subscribing to the community. You know the drill here. I'm Aton. We're going to build a three-leg parlay for you across the diamond today. So hit that thumbs up button. Make sure you subscribe here as well. We have so much content. It's pouring out of our ears each and every day here. It's not just baseball, but everybody, all hands on deck. We're getting ready for football right around the corner. But if it's golf, UFC, baseball, things that are happening now or in the future, we got you here on the Odd Shopper channel. So make sure you subscribe. We go two and one. Now, it doesn't count, right, unless you're playing these individually. But we're just laying a $10 bill on each one of these every day. And we go two and one on the three leg last night. Of course, the one leg that does bust, the stinking Phillies, down after five to the Cubs, ultimately losing, embarrassing themselves. That's not our problem anymore. That was the recap, though, the reason why the three legger does not hit. Unfortunately, it's because of my Philadelphia Phillies. So back on a Sunday, I can promise you this, we're staying as far away from that game as humanly possible. We'll tell you all about this BetMGM bankroll builder here. Free money for you coming up in a second. But let's start. Let's look at what we have to open this up here. All right. And the White Sox hosting the Guardians. You see Shane Bieber up against Dylan Cease. And it's Cease, I think we're going to focus on more so than anything else here. And it's not so much the positives that we've seen from this man just dominating from a case standpoint, not giving up much hits. I mean, the resume speaks for itself. There's a reason why he's on a short list of odds as the Cy Young winner, although he won't win it. I don't think he's definitely deserving of conversation by all means, numbers alone, if you see the domination there. With that said, and this is where I think it gets a little tricky for people just blind betting a game with Dylan Cease. And look, Cease could easily have seven, eight Ks. And we're still looking at going over three and a half runs for the Cleveland Guardians, mainly because that's what Cleveland does. And if you look at a stretch of 10 games, 15 games, they're scoring over three and a half runs. And it's not all against dog pitchers out there. It's not all against guys whose arms are falling off their bodies. They are scoring against better pitching as well. This was a major concern for Cleveland starting the season. They have turned things around through the All-Star break because clearly even in this series against the White Sox where they come off that loss yesterday, they score four runs, seven before that, eight before that. You go back to a series with the Tigers and that's basically like you're guaranteed to score. They haven't scored less than four runs just once, mind you, over their last 10 games. And even if they're hovering around that number four or five, they're getting to this over three and a half. Point being is that the recent history alone for the Cleveland Guardians and what they're putting up at the plate is enough to counter just, oh, Dylan Cease is on the hill because that's what you're going to get. Your buddy's telling you, yeah, yeah Dylan Cease is going to mow him down. You're looking at the numbers. You're listening to this. You're following along with your own information. You're thinking, oh, the Guardians, though, hold on a second. The Guardians are scoring at a clip over, and in some cases in this recent stretch, well over three and a half runs. I can get to four at even money. Now, how about free money? It's simple, right? Bank Roll Builder is there for you. It's below me there. So click that link. My goodness, I can't believe why you haven't already. And sign up at BetMGM. It's so simple, the process, right? Deposit $10 when you sign up. Play that 10 on any baseball game. It doesn't matter win or lose. And then you're going to get $200 right back into your account. I mean, think about that. Free money. Simple as that. And all you need to do is click the link below. That's it. And then deposit at least $10. $10, that's what we're putting on these parlays each and every day here. $10. And we'll show you what this is going to build, mind you, in a minute. But think about how easy it is to get $200 right into your account. And all we're really asking you to do here is just follow along. All right, let's get back to BetMGM, speaking of which. And mind you, click that link below, of course, for the promo code there. We'll go to the Twins Tigers game. All right. Now I'm going to show you what we're going to play here. First five twins on the money line. And the reason on that mainly predicated on Detroit. I get that on the road for Minnesota. But again, you start to look at some numbers here for Detroit. They're just not scoring. They're simply not getting across the plate. They have been struggling mightily as we know on the road. So 
Twins come off that 8-4 pounding of Detroit last night. And all of a sudden with Minnesota, now you're in a spot here where winning the first five, and if you want to look especially with this pitching matchup, Sonny Gray and Garcia, that's targeting Garcia, uh, pardon me, Gray more so than anything else. In fact, even if you just want to look at Sonny Gray and what he's been doing as of recent, the last time that he really had a dominating performance, one that you just walked away with. I mean, he has gone five innings max over his three starts in July and then one blip where he went seven against Cleveland in June. But you go back to that game where he was shining. And, you know, to be fair, he dominated Cleveland scoreless. So I don't want to overlook that by any means. So two of, let's say, his last eight starts, the one that was just ultimately similar to that Detroit seven innings scoreless and the difference and this is why I think it stood out even more so the difference between the Cleveland game and the Detroit game for Sonny K Sonny K there you go is exactly that strikeouts 10 on Detroit versus three for Cleveland so Gray's command and Gray's domination on the mound may not be here as of recent in fact and I'm no Alex Baker or Steve Buzzard. You should check them out on the premium betting discord by all means. But I would guess that there may be a lean today to go under four and a half Ks for Sonny Gray simply because he's been struggling in that department. But the last time he was out on the mound, flat out lights out was against the Detroit Tigers. On the road, doesn't matter here. We're taking advantage of Gray being out there. So we're, com we're combining two things, all right? We're combining one Last time Gray faced the Tigers was arguably his best outing in the last eight games that he's pitched. And the second is if you look at where Gray is pitched as of recent, as far as innings, it's hovering around that five, probably just around average five innings. So if it's simply him being taken out, pitch count, what have you, we don't anticipate Detroit being up here. We're going to play the first five money line at minus 190 for the Minnesota Twins here. And that's really going to be our second play to build this thing. Last, we're going to go to the Padres-Mets game. All right? And we're going to get out there for the first three. I love these first three innings. Now, you look at this matchup tonight before we even get there. It's Joe Musgrove and Carlos Carrasco. Some Ks to be had for both of these guys, clearly. We've seen, as of recent, a struggle, if you will, for the New York Mets against the San Diego Padres, mustering just two runs combined in their last two games. Now, to be fair, San Diego's not blowing the doors open by any means either. But you have Joe Musgrove on the mound, who we can anticipate going longer than three innings here. And for San Diego, it's just about wearing down, but they also get some pretty good scoring opportunities. They have a pretty decent mixture, as we've seen. So they're not just relying on getting on the bag. They're not just relying on long balls early in the game. San Diego, we're going to lay a half run here in the first three. This is a plus 145 return, and it's going to help boost this three-leg parlay, as you'll see. But the last leg is taking the Padres' first three, not five, not seven, as that hit last night, by the way, but it doesn't matter because the parlay did not. But we'll lay the half a run here, first three for San Diego, to get to Carrasco in that. And what we're counting on here is one and a half times through the lineup. A couple of hits, a couple of scoring opportunities. Hey, you get a solo shot in the first, that's a bonus. I know Manny's two-run shot won the game last night. But beyond that, as we're not banking on that, we'd love it. Think that San Diego is clearly going to have the better opportunity to get to the opposing pitcher as New York versus New York against Joe Musgrove. So that's the play there that we look at to kind of end this thing. So let's just give you the final recap. Over three and a half, that's the Guardians run total against the White Sox. Combined with the Twins, first five money line. Combined with the Padres laying a half a run in the first three. That's a plus 647, three-leg parlay, 10 bucks wins a 6470. And look, we'd be up big. I'm telling you, all we need to do is hit one of these each week and we'll be fine here. Thanks for rolling with us. Hit the thumbs up button. Make sure you're subscribed here as well and the notification bell. By the way, click that link below at BetMGM. 
sign up, deposit at least $10, bet that 10 on any baseball game, win or lose, that's $200 right back into your account. Back on Monday. Until then, enjoy the rest of your weekend. Let's cash some tickets.